Yo, what up, what up, YouTube? Today's video is gonna be fairly controversial, but a lot of my videos are very controversial because I speak the truth, I don't know how to do it any other way. So today I'm gonna be talking about why there's no point in tracking how many calories you burn, okay? And so to achieve progress, you can track two of three things. You can track intake, expenditure, and progress itself. Okay, two of those you can track 100% accurately. One of those you can track so hard accurately, like extremely difficult to track accurately. You can track intake accurately by calculating how many calories you eat, how many calories you consume, and you can track progress. Okay, so if scales going up or down depending on goals, you can see if you're making progress. And so you don't need to track expenditure. Now, if you choose to track expenditure, you will have a nightmare of tracking it. The other two, you can track 100% accurately. Expenditure, on the other hand, the only way to track expenditure accurately is if you have like a million dollar lab, you know, with scientists hooked up, you know, on every part of your body to track it. Because the human body is way too complex for the average person to track it on their own. No, Fitbits, cannot track your calories burned. No, that number on the treadmill that tells you how many calories you burned, completely inaccurate, okay? Why, why is this the case? And a lot of times these things are very inaccurate, not just a little bit inaccurate, very inaccurate. Why? Because everyone is different and everyone, let's say the treadmill says you're running, you know, for five minutes you burn this amount of calories. Everyone running for five minutes is gonna burn a completely different amount depending on list of factors, okay? There's literally like thousands of factors involved in how many calories you burn. Um, I've listed a bunch down below right here, and I'm just gonna name some off the top of my head. How much muscle you have, how much fat you have, what gender you are, your genetics, the type of exercise you're doing, um, the type of exercise you did yesterday, um, the type of nutrition you got in prior, um, how much you're breathing, your heart rate, all of this is way too difficult to track and to track accurately. But the good news is you don't need to track it. And yet I hear people, you know, go, oh, my Fitbit said, you know, I ran this much, so I must burn this amount of calories. Even the ones where you punch in some, you know, I'm a female, I'm five foot six, I weigh this much. It, it's still not enough to track it correctly. There's hormones and stress that A, prevent you from burning more calories or your metabolism adds more calories burn, different age, different factors, family history, it's just way too difficult. And the, the type of activity ranges from how much you're exerting. You can walk from here to here, but there's a difference where you're walking and you're actively walking, you're engaging your muscles. It's just way too difficult to track. And so most people don't ever accurately track. There's no point in looking at that number on the treadmill, but you can still make progress. How? by tracking how many calories you eat and whether you're losing or gaining weight depending on your goals. And so you only need to track two out of the three for progress and it's a pretty obvious choice which two you're gonna track. Two of them you can track accurately. One of them is nearly impossible unless again you have a million dollar lab with scientists hooked up with a funnel in your mouth and you know, stickers with the wires on your chest calculating your you know muscle activation your emg and your blood flow all that to actually to actually track how many calories you're burning it's nearly impossible so quick video even though it's like four minutes <laughs> describing why tracking your calories um burned is pointless and so subscribe to my channel if you still like me and i will see you next time peace